going to start my first video in a series of videos called Unmacked or Mac without Mac. Uh, you know, whatever you want to call it. If somebody could uh, come up with a really good name for this series, I would love to hear them. So basically what this is, is I'm going to be taking looks either created by someone else or just using colors that um, I know are a matte color and showing you how to get looks exactly the same or pretty close to it without using any MAC makeup okay so this is the look that I came up with today and this look was originally done by X Ina Rocks it's X I N A R O X and there will be a link to her video in the sidebar and she did this look using um, bitter saddle rice paper for a highlight and beauty marked in the crease and so as you'll see in the video I got together colors that I had already that were very similar to those colors and just recreated the look now it's not a hundred percent but they're pretty darn close so if you want to learn how to get this look using no MAC products just keep watching <clears throat> okay let's get started we're gonna start by applying the NYX jumbo pencil and milk on our lid We're going to keep that below our crease and just kind of blend this in with our finger. I'm going to bring it underneath my lower lash line a little bit also. Now I'm going to use just a little bit and bring it up to the brow bone. Just a little bit that's kind of left on my finger. I like doing this. I like the cleaner edge that I get when I use a piece of tape. This is optional. You don't have to do it. You just want to kind of line it up from your lower lash to your eyebrow here. And we can go ahead and get started with the shadows. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you the shadows all right now instead of bringing the palette into it again several times. Okay, so now I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce her name if it's Xena Rocks, but she used um, Bitter, which the one that I'm going to use that's like bitter is right here. She used saddle and this is the color that I'm using for saddle right here. This one. And she also used, oh I'm also going to be using this for rice paper as our highlight. So those are the colors from the Coastal Scent 78 palette that I'm going to use. I'm also going to be using the dark purple in the e.l.f. Purple Haze Duo and that's my um, duplicate for Beauty Marked. I'm just using an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. This is my favorite eyeshadow brush. I actually ordered, I think I have like four of them now because I really like them. So now we're going to go into the bitter color. I'm just going to pack the bitter color all on our lid. We don't want to go up into the crease with this. And just kind of pat it on because we want it to stay a nice vibrant color. Okay, so it should be looking something like this. Now I'm going to take another brush. This is a blending eye brush. This is also from e.l.f. so this is a dollar and we're going to take the brown color which is our duplicate for saddle by MAC and just get that on the brush and we're going to take this in the crease. Now you do want to blend this in a little bit with the bitter color, but 
you don't want to go too far in, just like mainly out here on the outer crease area. Okay, then we're going to take a smaller crease brush, more of a pointier one, and we're going to dip that into the purple Beauty Mark lookalike from e.l.f. And this, we're going to concentrate on making a V shape. So I'm going to make a line like this on the side of the tape. And then I'm going to bring a line up like that. Now I'm going to go back to the fluffier crease brush that we used for the saddle. And I'm just going to kind of blend this a little bit better. Then I'm going to go ahead and get a fluffy brush. This one's from Coastal Scents, a dense fluffy brush. And we're going to get the um, rice paper look-alike. And we're going to use this for our highlight. We're going to go under our brow. And then just kind of go over it. Okay. Then we're going to take off the tape. Okay. And as you can see, this has a very straight defined line, and this one's a little bit more rounded. What I did was I took the fluffy brush and just kind of went over this to blend this line out a little bit. Okay, so it should be looking like this. Okay, so now that we have the shadow on, I'm going to use a um, chocolate color. It's uh, called Chocolate by Prestige. And this is just a pencil liner. And I'm going to line my bottom lash and my top lash with this. And then I'm going to put on some mascara. And I'm trying out this Rimmel Extreme Definition. And check out the brush on this thing. I don't know if you can see that. But it's like a little comb. So... I used it on this other eye and I like it, so we'll see. So I'm going to put my liner on and mascara, curl my lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the final look with the mascara and the eyeliner on. So I hope that you like it. Hope you had fun. And I hope that you all see that we can create lots of looks. We don't have to have MAC or any specific brand for that matter. And I will be doing more of these um, unmacked or Mac without Mac, whatever you want to call it. I will be doing more of these in this series coming up. So thanks for watching and stay beautiful beauty queens. Oh, by the way, does anyone see a difference as far as the fact that I have L'Oreal Decrease and Urban Decay Primer Potion, one on each eye. Make sure you keep an eye out for my review. When the working day is done, oh girl.